Ivana, um, as you know, in Dubai, a lot of people try so many fad diets uh, from detoxing to protein diets and there are multiple diets that one can try and they do try but it never helps. Mm. Um, I want my viewers to know those little lifestyle changes that they can do and they can see huge changes. I have done it myself years back and I know you are the expert and you will really help my, uh, my viewers know all those changes that they can make. So I'd like to give a couple of tips that you can mm -hmm. um, start implementing right away and you will notice the change in your overall well-being. Mm -hmm. yeah? so Let's, let's start. <laughs> <laughs> so number one would be, I will start from the morning when you wake sure, up. Sure, yes. Um, drinking water. Mm -hmm. So many people go and grab a cup of coffee first thing in the morning to wake up. But in fact, what you want to do is drink plenty of water because our body is made out of more than 60, almost 70 percent of water. water. So our cells, when they get dehydrated, this is when you also start feeling more fatigued and tired. Have a little bit warm water. Yes. And I add some lemon mm -hmm. juice, freshly mm -hmm. squeezed lemon juice. Sometimes I also add um, raw apple cider vinegar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just a teaspoon. So two glasses of water early in the morning yes. when you wake up, yes. or either with lemon, either yes. plain lemon or with plain, apple cider yeah. vinegar. Second thing would be really um, move your body. Move Get your body, body. <laughs> in motion. Yeah. So that will bring more oxygen to your brain. This will wake you up much better. The third one, I would say, when you're choosing food, uh, really go for something as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have packaged foods, it means that food might not be necessarily natural, mm -hmm. <laughs> even if it says natural on the box. Yes. Um, in the end, it is processed. Mm -hmm. So it is much better if you can make yourself a smoothie, for example, where mm -hmm. you put some good green vegetables mm. or fruits um, with some almond or coconut milk. Yeah, some nuts and some seeds. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes smoothies are so, you know, if you don't have time, it takes yes. uh, time to make it. I mean, I try to do it every morning, but at times it's just in a hurry and, mm -hmm. you know, or you don't have all the ingredients. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So if that is the case, what's the first thing one should eat? A fruit, maybe? Fruit, yes, mm -hmm. you can have a piece of fruit. Uh, some people like also, if, if you're opting for um, animal protein, mm -hmm. that can be an omelette mm -hmm. with maybe a little bit of vegetables mm -hmm. and um, egg whites omelette. Mm -hmm. So it depends really like what, yeah. but it's still, you know exactly what you're eating. What you're eating, yeah. rather than opening a pack and having exactly. something from there. Yeah. I agree. Learn how to prepare your food. You don't Very have important. to be. <laughs> you don't have to be a professional chef. Professional <laughs> chef, yes. But just really learning how to make yeah, basic and things. basics. Oh my God! And so uh, kids learn so fast nowadays. Watching mm. all those videos, it's so easy yes. to just pick up things. Yes. Yeah. So well, that will empower you, mm -hmm. and you will actually start finding more joy in preparing your food, also for your loved ones. Mm -hmm when you know that you're serving food that is uh, nutritious and healthy, rather than buying something from a freezer and just warming it up uh, in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> the next one would be <clears throat> our mind. Mm -hmm. So what is it that we are telling ourselves? What is it that we are thinking? Um, <clears throat> when you think like, oh, today it's really, such a difficult day for me, it was so busy, I'm just gonna go and grab something sweet to reward mm. myself. It's almost like uh, giving yourself a wrong message that because if you're going for some fast food as a reward, mm. in the end your body and your mind 
will not benefit from it. I always tell people when you wake up in the morning, change if, it's, if there's anything negative, change the draft in mm -hmm. your head. Yes. Just change that first draft. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's so important. So the next tip I would like to mention breathing. Mm -hmm. Very often we forget uh, that breath is life. Mm -hmm. So when you observe a small child or a baby sleeping, you will also notice that their belly will be mm -hmm. um, lifting up and down mm -hmm. because they are breathing really breathing. with the full lungs. Mm -hmm. And very often when we are stressed, we are breathing very shallow mm -hmm. and not noticing that we get tense. Yes. So well, I have a really uh, like a practice of breathing mm -hmm. that you can be doing it anywhere. Uh, very often when I'm driving mm -hmm. and if there is a traffic jam, people start to get frustrated yeah. and like, oh, I have to move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there is this very simple way of um, breathing deeper. It's mm -hmm. called four, seven, eight breath. Mm -hmm. So you're inhaling mm -hmm. for four, you're holding your breath for eight seconds, uh, seven seconds and exhaling for eight. Eight seconds, yeah? okay. So four, seven, eight. Four, seven, eight. So you, yeah. you inhale for four mm -hmm. and you hold, hold it for seven, seven and you and exhale, you exhale for, eight. for eight. eight. And you okay. do like maybe three to five rounds and in a matter of literally one or two minutes you will notice completely different energy in yourself and like much more mm -hmm. calm. And I recommend it also very often to my clients to take a couple of deep breaths before they start eating. Mm. Because when you're eating in a stressed um, way, your body will also not adjust it, uh, properly mm -hmm. and your metabolism will also go down. So very often people are struggling to losing weight in their bellies. Right. It's whenever we are eating stressed, that's what your body is not um, digesting in a proper way and just accumulating the fat Mm. as a reserve <laughs> because um, mm -hmm. um, too much of a cortisone level will not allow your body to digest mm -hmm. okay so eating before you eat just taking a couple of deep breaths coming into that more calm state mm -hmm. will make a huge change huge difference yeah. right yeah. and my last tip would mm -hmm. be sleep Mm. Uh, we think like, okay, if I am just uh, even having like a short amount of sleep and then go on with whatever I need to do, we fool ourselves very often, yeah. thinking that it's, it's okay to go by with five, six hours. I'm guilty of that as mm -hmm. well. <laughs> but I can notice the difference next day mm. in my performance, in my energy level, just overall in my mood how I feel and on the top of that there are also two hormones mm -hmm. that affect how our metabolism and fat will be stored right which are produced during our sleep okay yeah mm -hmm. so if a per person is struggling with weight one of the essential and crucial thing is that they get a good night's sleep right yeah mm -hmm. so having really opportunity to rest your body is your body really needs it, mm -hmm. will make a, a big benefit, give you a huge difference in how you're feeling overall and your wellness. And your mood. And, and your, your mood. Yeah. And, and your everything overall. So everything, yes. Absolutely. I mean, thank you so much. They're great tips. And um, I hope my viewers, that you don't have to follow all of them. They can at least start with at three least of them. Start, yeah, 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 just start, start. implementing one. Exactly. Just choose one. Let's say it's going to be yeah. drinking water in the morning. That's yeah? it, yes. That's it. And continue that for some time. Continue that for some time. Start implementing next one, even after a week or two. Yes. But like little by little, it's going to be a part of your every day. Exactly. The same way like we're brushing our teeth. We don't think about that. Oh, am yes. I going to brush today or not? You just do it. Do it. Yeah. yeah. It's a habit. And it usually, I mean, I believe any habit, if you want to continue, you have to do it for 21 days. Yes. And I always do that. Yes. So, you know, and it really is set then and you know that you're going to continue doing Definitely. it. And that's how I have brought about changes in my life mm -hmm. and, um, and that's how I've started one step at a time. Yes. But you can do it. Yes. You can do and it. And I think this is why 
people get overwhelmed when there is like too many changes too, at yes, once and yes. they just can't keep up. Absolutely. So like implementing one by one, yeah. little by little, yes. it's much easier. Absolutely. Just Thank you. It. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Ivana. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a great help for my viewers. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>